Hi, in this lecture, we will introduce a new topic which will be covered in your plus two syllabus, which is called Python data visualization, visualization using PyPlot. So I will be covering this in uh, three parts. So this is the first part of that lecture. This is your basic syllabus of plus two uh, and the detailed uh, dissection of only first unit is being flashed on the screen. So on in this 30 marks are covered. Okay, so out of this hundred is very important topic and in this there is a very important topic which is called data visualization using five plot. Generally five to seven marks question has came in this entire uh, pre-board or last year with, uh, in which all exams have happened there uh, in this topic you will then generally get a direct questions like you are required to name the library or name the functions which are used or you will be asked to produce the uh, show the output what this program achieves so concentrate on this topic this is a very important topic now, this in this topic, data visualization using PyPlot. PyPlot is the name of a, a module in a package, and in this uh, your syllabus, uh, line th only three ch types of charts are there. Okay, line chart, pie chart, and bar chart. Okay. Apart from that, I uh, we have also seen questions from histogram. So histogram is a little more like a bar chart that we will discuss. Before you start programming, what you should know, what you should be knowing, you should be aware of what is the mathematics of the plots and why, what is the main, why this plot, why you require this plot, why should you know this plotting, what is the aim of this and developing these plots, okay. So, um, before, after that, you should be knowing the basics, how, if given a set of data, how you will achieve that in your general mathematics day to day if i if i give you a question uh, you should be able to plot at least you you should be able to plot a graph manually on a graph sheet if you are comfortable with that this programming will be a very easy for you and it will be a cakewalk generally you will see this is a, a five to seven marks gifted to you and uh, now before we move on to before we start programming let us see what is a library what is a library library you must be aware uh, a library is generally a, a collection of functions or modules uh, which are already prepared and you you are required only to use that library so in this data visualization generally we'll be using a library uh, pyplot from the package matplotlib okay so in this matplotlib.pyplot, there are uh, many functions, many type of charts, uh, and uh, every day a new chart is being added or a new functioning is being added. But our main concentration will be based on only three charts, by line chart, pie chart, and bar chart. Okay, so we'll see, we have focus will be on these three topics. So this is the official website of uh, matplotlib. If any of you are interested, you can visit you can visit this website in this you will get various types of uh, line charts and other things maybe uh, many advanced things if somebody is interested now this is a basic line chart before coming on to the topic uh, i wanted to show you some graphs so that uh, you should be very clear about the various components like in this graph you can see uh, this graph has got a title it it shows you what this what this graph is showing so this graph is showing you a uniform motion graph okay and in this on this has got two axes on the x axis time is plotted on the y axis distance is plotted so basically this this chart is depicting you uh, the distance covered by a object in the time series 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन वन मिनट इट एट कवर टेन सेंटी टेन मीटर इन टू इट एज कवर ट्वेंटी इन थ्री मीटर इट एज कवर थर्टी सो बाय लुकिंग एट द ग्राफ ऑल्सो यू कैन विजुअलाइज इफ आई इफ आई ओमिट दिस यूनिफॉर्म मोशन ग्राफ यू कैन इजली विजुअलाइज दट वट इज यूनिफॉर्म मोशन और इफ आई शो यू अ ग्राफ एंड आस्क यू वेदर दिस मोशन इज यूनिफॉर्म और नॉट यू विल बी इजली एबल टू टेल टेल अस ओके comparing the data uh, suppose this has got only one two th- this has got only six uh, data available but if this data is very large somewhere around 1000 or 10000 then this in those scenario in those cases these graphs are very very useful we'll see another type of graph now see by looking at the graph only without analyzing the data you can easily say yes this is a non uniform motion because it is not covering equal distance in equal amount of time okay again this graph what is the difference between this graph and that graph the markers have been marked okay and uh, this the in that graph it was a straight line in this graph it is a straight line however this is not a straight line so by looking at the graph all graph only you can visualize or you can analyze many things and various components are like what data is there on the x axis what is the value of uh, this bins like uh, this data is divided into a sequence of numbers from 1 to 6 so time series is at uh, shown at a gap of uh, at a gap of 1 okay and the time and this axis shows you time in minutes so this is the label for x axis this uh, this axis is showing you distance so this is the label for y axis okay the maximum date limit that this graph is showing is 0 uh, 60 and minimum is 0 and on the x axis minimum is 0 and maximum is 6 this is the title of the graph so yeah, if you are aware of this component you can easily plot them in your graph in your program now see this is another uh, graph it is also showing distance versus time but uh, the gaps are not being shown on x axis and y axis it is a uh, okay it has been omitted but various parts of the graph has been marked these are called anotation anoton- anotations okay anotations are basically some points some markers which will uh, tell you any special information like if you see this anotation this you can make out that this is a, a straight line graph so this body is moving at a constant speed now this is not a straight line this is a curve and maybe when this uh, curve become exactly flat somewhere here so you can make out that now this body is stationary and uh, at the starting it was accelerating you can see this graph is rising exponentially my aim is not to tell you more about uh, teach you about distance and uh, time uh, and physics but by looking at the picture by looking at a line chart how you should be uh, what help it is going to give you and how you can achieve in your uh, programming to depict the information that is my aim so now most of the components are clear to you now here you can see another type of example in this monthly sales of a company has been represented on the left on the y axis you can see the rupees uh, uh, rupees is plotted amount is plotted and on the x axis in the the various months so in the month of january you can say uh, 1000 was the sales and how the sales uh, improved and uh, dip you can easily make out you don't have to look at each and every cell you can just see what is the top most cell so here you got like in august you have got the highest sale and in the month of april you have got the lowest sale so this graph was very helpful in that i will show you one more type of graph see in this the three different bodies have been compared so in this plot actually there are one two three plots so one is colored with blue another with orange and th- another with red so you can see again um, concentrate on the logic like you can plot more than one or two or three graphs at the same time you can annotate them you can change the color so things like that we will be doing in our line chart example one more example is that when the data of three different cities have been compared in the previous example we have compared 
the data the time and speed data of three different bodies in this graph we are comparing the temperature of three of uh, four different cities london berlin tokyo new york so now your aim is very clear by now ki what all you can achieve what you should be able to do it these are the basics you should be able to do it okay now i will start about uh, about the line chart we have already uh, seen many examples what the basics will now cover the theory what is a line chart line chart uses individual data points that display quantitative values over a specified of specified period of time so in our uh, previous examples in the uniform motion we have seen that we have uh, been provided with the data of uniform motion and non uniform motion uh, motion bodies so we were given actually the data was that Uh, at different interval of time, what is the distance covered? And based on that, we have uh, gathered or we have digged some information. Okay, it uses data point as markers. Uh, all the points are markers. We'll uh, discuss this uh, uh, later on. It consists of two axes. Now you are very clear about the axes. You are okay. But what is the purpose? What is the purpose? Purpose is to it allows us to visualize the trend. by looking at the trend like you have we have just seen the plot of distance and time and we could easily visualize the trend like is it a stationary object how long it is stationary or it is accelerating body or it is moving at a constant speed so just by looking at the graph you can gather so much information visually at one go which will require too many lines or many things we have to write but by visualization only you can easily make out so this is our main aim of the drawing a line chart now um, now we'll start about the programming what are the various steps that you should follow while programming so in this first step is that you should import matplot library the first step is that importing of library what is the name of library the name of library is matplotlib. pyplot so and you have to use this function import so this is a import this is this will import this matplot.pyplot in your current program okay so you will be able to use all the functions which are there in this pyplot now the second step is prepare the data how will you prepare the data uh, you should be very th very thorough about the data which you are going to use what are the various constants like for line chart you should be having the data for the two axes one for x axis one for y axis for example in our previous example we were uh, we will be taking the example of this um, uniform motion chart okay so in that you were provided data between time and distance covered in that time so you should be having uh, the list of the data and x axis and y axis number of element should be equal so this is the basics of line chart so you should be able to prepare the data or correct data and do the corrections then you should decorate the graph like decorations like you should be able to put the title what was the title title was like inform motion graph then you should be able to put y label x label you should be able to annotate you should be able to change the color these we will see in our examples but just to give you about the uh, introduction i am covering this now the fourth step will be to call the required function so what is the required function that we'll see but these are the main step first step is that import the library sec uh, that import the library matplotlib.pyplot second is to prepare the data second uh, third is to decorate the graph and third call the required function for plotting this graph so all this we have covered we have seen 
this four step call the required function for plotting uh, actually by using the by calling means you want to plot which type of graph like you want to draw a par, by line chart par, pie chart or bar chart okay so we will be calling that function and final will be to call the show function so this function show will uh, display the graph on the screen now this is the set of data and uh, in this i am using a different notation like i am i am taking x uh, time elapsed in x axis and speed in meter per second so this will tell you some other details let us see what details does it give we will plot our chart using this data set okay so this was the data uh, now the first step will be to what is the first step for programming is importing the library what is the name of library name of the library is import uh, matplot.pyplot okay so every time you want to name a function you have to write fully matplot dot matplotlib.pyplot so we are using a convention like uh, uh, we used in sql where we named some table using the as okay so in the, here also we use a fun use this import uh, word uh, command to import this library and we will now call this uh, library pipeline matplotlib.pyplot using this word plt to access the functions we will use plt dot function name we'll see that now preparing the data so we should have the data for x axis and y axis we have got the graph and this is our data for the two axis uh, on the x axis we are uh, representing time and on the y axis we are showing the speed that uh, it was going on at that in the vehicle now we will call the function for plotting so right now we are calling uh, line we are drawing line chart so we will using this function we'll just draw a basic line chart okay so we'll just call that function plt dot plot plot is a function in our module plt what is plt plt is matplotlib dot pyplot so instead of this you can also write matplotlib dot pyplot dot plot and the two parameters that are required to be supplied to this are data for x axis and data for y axis so you should also remember that number of elements in x axis and y axis should be equal otherwise you will get error okay so you will get some kind of error that error uh, you will tell me when you will practice this at at your in your in our lab and right now those who are having uh, pcs with them they can practice this and they can let me know ki what is the type of error so and if you remember there was one question in the uh, final exam uh, like what are the two types of error in the python so this might help you this is one kind of this by this you will be able to find out yes one type of error is this and finally the function plt dot show so using this function we will call we will display our chart so let me run all these commands one by one So first we will import our library after that we will prepare the data the data is prepared now you can see this we have I have just uh, executed this program now after this I will execute this basic so now you have got a plot okay so this is a basic line chart uh, it had made labels uh, for this x x uh, the various bins for the label for this x x and y x like it is automatically covered from 0 to 40 this is based on the maximum data that we have plotted from 0 to 6 okay so this automatically it has uh, plotted the graph it is showing you a basic line and now this is how you you can plot a basic line chart so right now you are uh, able to do a uh, plot a line chart using the basic function so this i will show you the full program so this is the full program please keep in mind this is a doc string after that we have imported the library we have named it as we will be using with a variable plt after that we prepared our data after that we have 
uh printed a message for the user that we are going to uh, print a line chart and after that we have printed the plot using this basic data but uh, i'm not very happy with this chart i want to decorate it like uh, what what is it showing i don't know this uh, what data is, is is it showing i'm not aware so let us see and uh, in this we we can also see that I have not used the comment extensively. So let me insert the comment. Prepare. Preparing data. Okay. So this. Now this is what. This is a. Information to user. Okay. And this is what. This is plotting of chart okay so now this program is fully correct you you, you will get at least 100 out of 100 for if this question is asked for 100 means full out of full it is showing all one more step that we can add is that we can also show the data set to the user for which this graph is being plotted so that may be depending upon the question if the question says you have to plot it you should plot it if it is not showing uh, maybe if you plot it is better but it uh, my advice is that you should print it so that user is aware of which what data is he going to see so we can wish we can also write print x axis data comma my data x axis now we are going to see y axis data so let us see y axis data so now let us see what is printing so now user is better aware like what what data is being used but uh, actually if when you are using this pie plot in real time the data set will be huge so i don't see i don't uh, see that uh, we should be printing the data but right now to demonstrate you i have used this function so you should be aware that see the count the number of elements one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven so uh, both the things are having seven data okay so the number of elements are equal and it has printed as a very good graph okay so this was all about your basic now i will decorate it i will show you enhanced version uh, like i want whatever labels or title or annotation that you are that you want to give i am showing you okay so this now we'll customize this let us see what all customization you can see this is the detailed customization like you can use the color you can change the color using this uh, uh, this parameter whatever you specify green you can change the lifestyle from dash you can change the light width you can change the marker you can change the face value okay so how we will change let us see this is a graph now i want my color of line to be red let me put it red so now see now this has changed to red now dashed it, it is a now let me make it fully now see this is a solid line now i want that line it should be line followed by dot so now see this is a line followed by dot i want to change the width this line is too thick i want to make it thin so now you have got a thin no i am not happy i want more solid line so you can enhance this more solid line likewise you can change the parameter for this also like you can change the color of the marker right now it is red so this also let me change it to red so now you have got everything red no i don't want red let me make it yellow so now you have got a yellow here you want uh, some other color like you want blue so put b so in this way you can plot uh, you can change the various uh, various uh, things of this 
this uh, line chart the other things that you can customize and uh, sorry first let us see these are the details of the markers that you can change in our there was a circle marker o so we can change it to triangle other things like let let us see it so i want to make it to a uh, triangle what is the symbol of the triangle suppose i want to do i want to make a triangle markup so i have to use this symbol so let me use this symbol this is a carrot okay so now see now we have got a triangle so likewise you can experiment you can learn the things uh, okay so this is the detail marker this is the type of line uh, which i was telling i use this style this style uh, this is a so this is a solid line this is a dashed line this is a dot style okay so this all this you can practice this is a color code for uh, color code for changing the colors you can experiment it as you like whatever you feel like or what is whatever is the given in the question now we'll customize the, our uh, range of axis range of axis it can be covered it can be changed using y lim and x lim function so plt dot y lim function it will change uh, you can give the starting number and you can give the ending number for uh, similarly for x lim irrespective of the data your uh, chart will change for example right now it is showing from 0 to 50 but i don't want from 0 i want to print this uh, plot while from 5 to 50 so let us see what happens see this data has uh, changed uh, from 0 to 5 and it is covering up to 50 suppose i don't i don't want to 50 also i want only up to 30 so i can make it to 30 so now presently my data is showing uh, data from 5 to 30 but i say the graph you can see it is actually uh, we have used a cut section because uh, there is nothing between five here okay so now let me restore it now suppose i want to change my x limit also let me start from one and move only up to five so now this data is now you can read the x axis and y axis it is reading from five to thirty and 1 to 50 so likewise you can change the x-axis now we'll be changing the labels how can we change the labels using the function x label and y label now whatever you write here it will be used as this label okay so you can change the label like i have written x-axis time and distance so distance is wrong it was the speed okay so let me change the to speed so now you will see yeah this has changed so this is how you will change this function and uh, this is our full function for changing of for uh, this this program is a full program for plotting of graph in one go okay so let us see the output this output we have seen now see here we are use plotting using this pi plot function then we are changing the uh, the limits of x axis and y axis then we are changing the uh, the labels uh, this lab this is the label and now we are going to give the title this is the title time versus no this is not time versus this is speed versus time okay so this is speed versus time it has changed here or why also i want to change this is speed versus time so this is the graph now also we'll look at a same function you can change the various parameters okay now we'll see the full program this is the full program for this function what all you should write you this is a doc string this is importing the library this is data preparation this is calling the pi plot function changing the x range uh, y range changing the labels for x axis y axis changing the table and calling the so function so this was all about line chart hope you enjoyed this topic please practice um, this write down each and every step in your uh, notebook uh, while making the notes and this full program you should write in your notebook for next three four days so that things are stored in your mind so sometimes the question also comes like uh, what is the command you will use to change the label of axis axis or y axis or what is the effect of using this function so uh, by this in this lecture i have covered extensively each and every topic you should be confident about developing a line chart
okay any any doubts you can post it so in our next topic i will cover bar chart okay that's all for today thank you